Welcome to the Rotten Gardener. What the difference a week makes. As you can see, the sun is glaring in my eyes. Uh, after last week's snow, I can hardly believe this. Uh, still a bit too heavy to dig, but there are some chores that we're going to try and get done today. One of the chores we're going to be doing today is, I've got a bed in front of me, that uh, over time the uh, council gardener has come down with his lawnmower and every time he drives past, he can't get past my plot, so he managed to damage the raised bed. So today, I'm going to cut the raised bed, uh, make it a, a little bit smaller, give him a little bit more room. Simple couple of tools, a saw for reducing the length of the boards and a big heavy lump hammer for pushing the battens into the ground that will support them. I've explained this technique on one of my money saving blogs about uh, different use for pallets. Here I've found a couple of pieces of timber. Uh, there is also a bonfire at the other end of the plot. It's got a load of timber on it. I might take some from that. That's the, uh, the main bed. What I'm going to do is take the lump hammer and separate the boards from the pillars that I've got holding it up then we'll cut one of them down a little bit and move the main boards towards the greenhouse to make the path a bit wider. I've uh, repositioned the, the boards, so I've taken a few inches off the end of the bed. I'm just going to mark where I'm going to need to cut with the saw. As I say, it doesn't have to be that accurate. It's not meant to be a work of art. It's meant to be some recycled timber being used to raise the bed. When earlier I said I just needed a saw and a mallet, this timber is quite wet, so I've had to enlist one of my helpers, which is another of our pallet projects. A stand for chopping the wood on makes it that much easier. Probably do it two at a time, so I still need some more buttons. As I said earlier, they don't need to be the same length, just something that you can batten into the ground to support the boards. The bonus of using battens is, should you wish to remove the board, all they've got, they can be replaced. The uh, method used previously here with all the screws etc. Makes for more hard work. And as I say, you probably need the power tools to get it working. That's it for this episode. We've uh, reduced the size of the bed and it might not look much, but I've got to say, I'm quite pleased. It's now solid, sturdy and out of the lawnmower's way.